Hey, Ira. Hey, Ravi. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining in and thanks for taking time out on a Sunday uh, for us. Oh, yes. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, friends, uh, uh, we have Ira Kaur. Uh, she's from Delhi. And, uh, you know, uh, Sunday is very important for me. I mean, I, I treat uh, special, uh, I mean, Sunday is a very special day for myself. Uh, because I, I uh, from my childhood, I believe that Sunday is meant for something. The reason corporates or any of the, you know, it's a holiday. It is declared as a holiday because there is a purpose for it. And you know, somewhere we are uh, missing why uh, what is Sunday meant for. And you know, we we tend to do the same good stuff what we try to do on weekends, even on Sunday. So uh, I thought, okay, why not have uh, Ira and, you know, uh, we've scheduled Ira on this particular day, which was uh, uh, really memorable. And uh, so Ira is a book called Self, uh, Self Love. She's a speaker, she's an entrepreneur, she does, uh, she's a therapist in a lot of other ways. She is a master coach. Uh, more importantly, when, when I saw her profile and in a couple of her live videos, I mean, which really, um, you know, uh, ignited that yes, yes, I have to uh, connect with her and we should do a one-minute DM with her. Um, the tone, the melody, uh, you know, uh, I've seen a lot of coaches, but it also depends on the uh, tone and uh, the depth in which the person is speaking or, you know, coaching the other person. The 10 minutes conversation with Ira, I almost got hypnotized. <laughs> I shared this particular feedback with her too. So, you know, uh, really awesome, awesome job, Ira. I mean, there are very few people who are, uh, who have chosen the career to heal others, uh, you know, educate people that, you know, life is something else. And uh, uh, very few people take time out to uh, listen to others. Problems, listen and you know, coach them and you know mold them, show them the possibility. There are very out of the entire population, there are there are very few of them, and you know you're you're one of them. So I know that that's from my side, that's my frank opinion, scrolling through your Facebook profile, your engagement activities, what you do. Uh, but over to you, what what you will do? And just introduce yourself to our new friends, uh, who will also I'm sure will become uh, your fans after this. <laughs> So, Definitely. What do so, you? Thank you, Ravi, so much for having me on the show. I'm very grateful. And uh, so I'm Ira Kaur. I'm a self-love coach and wellness consultant. And sometimes I do spiritual mentoring. <laughs> so it comes up to all the package of, you can say, I just uh, ignite the love within you. And uh, you are always having that love. It's just like sleeping sometimes. So. I just ignite that love and make you more happy, more generous with yourself and more compassionate with yourself. So this is all. I do very small work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ravi, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Uh, yeah. I Okay now? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, when, when Ira asked me a quick question as to what is spirituality, I, I did not have uh, an answer for it. So, um, you know, yeah, I, I, we need a lot of, uh, you know, education on that, um, you know, being religious versus uh, being spiritual. So, maybe some insights on that for a minute uh, or two before we get into rapid fire questions. Sure. So now, uh, yes, many people come over, uh, come and say that I'm spiritual or I'm not spiritual. So, and this is what happened. Like, what is spirituality? So, spirituality is uh, nothing, uh, something different. It's actually the wholeness, the completeness. Mm -hmm. It's like you are still a spiritual person. Everybody is actually a spiritual person. But it, what matter is the person is uh, aware of it or it's living in ignorance. So right. the more and more awareness you will create in yourself about your body, about your emotions, about your mind, 
and about your complete being and not only about yourself but about the whole world about the universe when you start having more awareness about it you start feeling more connected to everyone and then how you feel that you are in a complete uh, you can say in a supreme consciousness that uh, it's a collective consciousness it's not that uh, you are alone in this world we are all together and we are all connected i will explain you like this um, that your body has multiple organisms right so if you say it is made of trillion cells so and that's why you are like walking trillion cells organism and same how the world is a multi organism as a big organism with trillions of people living here of not only people but multi species living here so we are all living in the earth so it's micro to macro and macro to micro and we are all together and we are all connected when you actually analyze and realize it that uh, nobody is different and nobody is separate you and ravi and i and ravi are not separate we are all together in it so if he will be happy definitely i'll be happy more <laughs> so it is something like spirituality is like being aware of the collective consciousness and being aware of who you are and it's an endless if i keep on talking it would be like uh, endless and the time up will be for all the rapid fire round <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh, ida uh, so for the audience who are joining this show for the first time the reason we have rapid fire questions is because uh, you can get to know ida well and you know her interests hobbies etc so ready ida we'll jump yep. on to my question okay girls like pink uh, do you absolutely my room is pink color <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, can pop be used for yoga and meditation we can renovate them now and then we can use them for yoga <laughs> because okay. uh, i think uh, not more people would be going there now <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, what were the dolls you used uh, during your childhood I think it was Barbie. Barbie? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you still have them? No. No. <laughs> Now I buy and give to my uh, niece and uh, my all my sisters' daughters and everybody. I just gift in there. <laughs> nice. Uh, Sunday in most of the uh, states in India is uh, you know very famous for knowledge. You know, we eat knowledge. So non-veg versus uh, spirituality, you know, are they connected, or do you feel that it shouldn't be? So what's what's your take on that? Okay, great question. So uh, I would say it totally depends upon what you want from your life. So uh, if you're thinking about good for yourself, then you need to understand what non-veg do to you, or what kind of different foods do to you. Mm -hmm. so when you eat non vegetarian is a gross food and the capacity of the food and the digestion of the food take 2 days so it is there on your uh, intestine lining for 2 days so if a food especially a dead food is there on your intestine lining for 2 days it troubles your digestion also so it's your call that how much you love yourself do you want to eat healthy food like if we eat uh, fresh vegetables and in fact raw foods like uh, fruits it get digested in 2 hours so it's good for my body so spirituality is also like about uh, how uh, how much you love yourself that uh, you are you want to grow yourself in every aspect of your life so according to that um, it's your call that uh, you want to have non vegetarian or not <laughs> okay describe yourself with a celebrity or a movie character where you felt ha huh, this is more like me you know this is like arya the arya and you know this is me uh can describe you can you repeat the question describe yourself with a celebrity or a movie character oh 
um uh, so uh it's a movie character if you've seen movie frozen mm-hmm. so yeah. uh, that uh, frozen uh, the lady which has the powers and she's the princess one <laughs> so i mostly connect to most of the princes actually <laughs> It's like the beauty and the bees so i am more of a cartoon character so i mostly play the role of princess <laughs> and i love magic so i always want like abo stick like abra gadabra your heel <laughs> so ha- have you seen uh, this movie uh, magnificent of course Yeah, that's so, all. Yeah, I've seen most of the animated movies. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite hobby apart from hypnotizing people like me? No, I don't hypnotize. They get hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> so, hobbies I have multiple hobbies. Um, I sometimes love to paint. I am a great dancer and uh, I am um, trying to sing also. and uh, i enjoy i party party in the sense i again dance in my party <laughs> <laughs> and i can dance on any number even i can dance on bhajans yeah we oh all bhajan okay <laughs> that's right bhajan or rag or um, uh, shlokas i can dance on anything yeah we have an unanswered question i mean which we which i asked deepika yesterday uh, why do girls da- you know bounce and dance on the bed on the bed ha kyun uchalte hain bed ke upar girls um actually not me so i can't answer that well i yeah. don't like to jump on bed actually <laughs> Yeah, so it's still a secret. Please, anybody knows in the audience, please look. You will be my boss. So yeah, if you were left alone uh, in a forest for thirty days, uh, what would you eat and how would you survive? Oh, that's great! I would love to do that. So, if it's a forest, if uh, there are fruits around, then I can have fruits. If mm-hmm. there are no fruits around. i will practice uh, certain meditation techniques that i know which will help me take energy from the atmosphere only from mm-hmm. the environment and uh, i don't have to eat in that purpose no mm-hmm. so i can easily survive for 3 days and i will be like happy that i became breatharian <laughs> <laughs> so there are many breatharian out there trust me i like seen people no people who have not eaten for like 10 years 15 years 10 20 years and they are surviving on air or sun energy that's it yeah i've heard about a baba who does that i think himalayas mein you know he's like uh, 100 plus years old and he only doesn't eat anything something like yeah. that absolutely there are many people actually uh, some people feel strange that it is possibly nahi hai it is mm. much possible if you know your you have a lot of powers and in the jungle i will not ask you what would you do with the animals which are trying to you so go answer me tomorrow so i will not ask you okay why why you can ask me don't worry <laughs> throw that question on me <laughs> so what are you most afraid of what i'm most afraid of that's a tricky question because uh, i am uh, on the path where i want to become uh, nirbhav mm-hmm. so i generally don't allow more fears to drill inside me i keep on working face them confront them so that it, they become disappear so not any fear that as a path i know right now i don't fear for dying because we die every day when we sleep <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, so what's your least favorite beverage? Least favorite, least favorite beverage. Yeah. Or you favorite. simply say you don't like a beverage. I'm <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, I don't know. It's like uh, I'm mostly water and nimbu pani these days, so I can't even recall my top beverage. <laughs> I think okay. alcohol would be not had from long time, so no clue. <laughs> Your favorite dish that your mom cooked? 
favorite dish? Which your mom cooked. Not mom. what you eat. And then my mom cooks all the food actually. So <laughs> it is uh, um, Monfli ki sabchi. Monfli. Peanut gravy. Gravy oh, peanut. Monfli. Okay. Monfli. Yes. Okay. Name. I mean, there there are many uh, Indian gurus who make a mark in the world. So, who's your favorite Indian guru? To, you know, spread across the recent ones, not not very old, but the recent one, recent ones who made their mark across the world. The Indian gurus. Um. So I would say that's a uh, Sadguru mm -hmm. because he's making a good waves, uh, and uh, yes, uh, he talks very much sense also. So Sadhguru is good, and uh, yes, there is uh, one more um, at um, Vindavan. So he's uh, like Devra Baba disciple. So he is also very good. Good. So if Mr. Modi sees this and he says, uh, "Ira, you are there. You know, we need people like you with this Corona pandemic. I will give you hundred acres of land for an ashram." Uh, you can decide where you want to set up. So, which state would you choose? Where would you like to set up this particular ashram? Ah, good question. I think I uh, can go for outskirts of uh, Pune or uh, <clears throat> somewhere in the south, maybe Kerala. Awesome. So, we will get free entry. Mil so, okay. uh -huh. Don't worry, I'll give you free entry. <laughs> Thank you. So, given an opportunity, if you are given a chance to take a gun license, would you go for it or would you skip it? And why? Uh, I won't go for it. I'll skip it. And if you have to kill your eyes, what do you need to kill your eyes? Good one. <laughs> Okay, next one is what was the last national or, or international incident or an accident uh, which brought tears in your eyes? I can't even recall. So, uh, this is something which we will not forget. So, you can but I don't put tears in my eyes. Bohut, matlab, bohut, you felt really bad. You know, aisa nahi hona Mm. I think the uh, only thing that I can recall is uh, <laughs> Nepal mein jo, uh, animals cutting hoti thi na, mm -hmm. naku ko, naku animals the, the. So I think that was a very horrified scene. Okay. Okay, next one. Uh, which so that finishes the rapid fire questions. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That was spontaneous and you know, really uh, within I, I didn't see any uh, you know answers which were like you're trying to answer it politically correct way. So now this brings us to the most important subject, one minute CM. So you are the one minute chief minister now. So what what are the areas we would focus on? Would you do? I will focus on the first paperwork, and that would be that uh, I will get it signed by the CM to make me the CM for next five years. <laughs> okay. Then only I'll be able to do the rest of the work. <laughs> That's nice. That's a tricky one. But what will you do? Let's say, okay, five, minutes, five, uh, five years CM you become. So. Uh, if I am a five year CM, then I will decide. Now, then I will do for uh, um, uh, education system, I will reform the education system more. So, mm -hmm. we will build that education system more on the Vedic style that we used to have a long time back. And uh, pe, uh, people who say that these are supernatural power to heal yourself or to read mind or do teleportation, telepathy, these are the things that I have taught in my childhood. So I want the kids to learn these arts because it empowers them. And uh, not only Western education, that is, I'm not saying that it's not necessary. It is necessary. But uh, if you see about the Aryabhat, 
if you see about the people who have invented so many things long time back and the science is still recovering oh they researched it bam at that time and now they are okay proving it yes it's still possible so I really want to change the education system because uh, if the education system changes from the base, everything is going to automatically change. Because the children and parents are going to change the same way. The parents don't listen to anyone's words, but the children don't listen to anyone's words. So they change the same way. And then they change the generation of their children. So they change the generation of their children. So they change the generation of their children. So changing the education system in a different form, in a much uh, refined form, I will say it's much needed. Yeah, I know, I know. They, they have a lot of impact. You know, I have few of my friends, you know, uh, though they want, they decided to go out and have a lot of kids who are like, no, we saw it on, uh, you know, WhatsApp or on TV, that they said you should not go out. They are following it so religiously, though the lockdown is easy now, they are still uh, following this religiously, not letting the parents go out. So you're right, I and mean, they have a lot of influence and impact on the parents, and they can change any anyway, parents, the grandparents. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you see, they are uh, like uh, in my time. I don't remember. Uh, like uh, my friends were suffering from uh, anxiety disorder or uh, restlessness from their childhood. They were not in, in depression, but uh, in reality. In this situation, I get uh, calls from children, young ages, having anxiety issue, depression, restlessness. And uh, why it is? It's all because their base is not strong. So to make the base strong, we need to impart them with meditation from the starting, with the practices that uh, the uh, yoga practice, that awareness practice, the um, gratitude practice, gratitude mm. yeah. So if they are from the uh, childhood, if they're working on it, I will see the beauty that will come out. It's mm. it's tremendous. It's tremendous. Just mind blowing. And uh, it's not that they're going to be weak. They're going to be very strong and strengthful in the aspect of their physical body, in their mindset, in handling their emotions, and even their uh, uh, environmental also, in handling the public affairs, social affairs, everything. They will be so good. If we can change the education system, I think it's like, bingo. <laughs> good one, Ayla. Thank you. Uh, so can you yeah, for five years now, right? Sorry? So I'm CM for five years now. Yeah, yeah, you are. I mean, you've taken it at writing, right? So from Mr. Kejirwal. So you are the, I'm, I'm sure you don't even need, I mean, you you know how to get that uh, written. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, but I, before before we close the show, uh, you know, please talk about your book and also uh, what is the suggestion you have uh, about the mental health uh, during the lockdown here. So there, are, there is almost a lot of damage uh, that has happened. Uh, all of us had some of the other sort of losses. And, you know, things are easing out. But yeah, what are your tips uh, for the audience and the friends who are connected? Sure, uh, I'll tell you. So this is my book. This is my cute little first book. And I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> for this book because uh, it was on my mind for like so many years but finally it came out and uh, this book tells about that uh, how uh, whatever is happening in your life it's because of your mindset it's how you perceive life to be and when you understand that then you move on to how you can actually change it so how you can develop your physical body how you can develop your mental body, how you can develop your emotions, having healthy emotions, and how you can spiritually be enlightened. So basically, I would say it's a pathway to self-realization. So self-love is the new self-realization. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Uh, so I'll the link of this particular book where it is available uh, down below the description. So. Yeah. So if you are reading books, you are good at reading books, please uh, friend, you know, feel free to you know, order that. 
and I don't know about uh, mental health. Have, uh, yeah. So uh, understand that what mental health is uh, that uh, when you are able to think positive, and uh, how can you think positive? So thinking positive needs a lot of uh, biochemical inside your brains also, which makes you think pos uh, positive. So to generate that biochemicals inside your brains, you need to work a little bit. So most uh, little work can be done with the food that you eat and uh, more work can be done with uh, how you do your breathing exercises and uh, um, uh, breathing exercises and practicing uh, physical exercises also. And a lot of uh, good biochemicals can be released when you meditate. So when you meditate, what happens is uh, any kind of meditation, you can start with the guided meditation or you can start with the meditation on your breath. And once you start becoming aware of your breath, it helps you release the excessive thought forms because it is like uh, in a day, a person thinks more than 60,000 thoughts a day. So it release, helps you release the excessive thought forms and uh, bring back to your own center, calm you down. And it helps you release because when you meditate, your brain state goes from the beta level to alpha and to theta level. So when you come to alpha and theta level, and sometimes to delta, that is deep meditation. So once your brain state comes to alpha and theta level, your brain releases biochemicals like dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, which helps you release its called happy hormones. And once your happy hormones are released, you are happy. <laughs> so if some person will come and say to you something it's like okay take your shit with yourself i'm happy <laughs> Good one. Yeah. so thank you Ira. so uh, Ira does a lot of meditation uh, meditation sessions uh, online she, she goes live and you know, does these so be free to uh, join uh, so anytime uh, yeah i think we have a question from mr uh, ranjan uh, yeah, yes. so just three tips for self-love, which you practice for yourself. Thanks, oh, Mr. Rajan, for joining in. So that's one, one practice that I do daily, that is uh, looking in my eyes. So when I look in my eyes, your eyes are the gateway to your soul. So when you look in your eyes, you are have, you have to be uttermost honest. Because you know everything. <laughs> And when you look in your eyes, praise that you have uh, come a long way and uh, you can do something more. So keep loving yourself, accepting yourself, and you'll be happy and kicking. <laughs> this is the first one. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, I do self-hug that I am my favorite. <laughs> and I just love myself. And the third tip that I will say is um, meditation is definitely the part of it because the more you meditate, the more unnecessary thoughts are released out of your system and the more you get deeply connected to yourself. So once you're getting deeply connected to yourself, you will have all the answers from the world. And I think that's what everybody wants to be, that uh, all-knowingness, <laughs> that you become your own Google. <laughs> Good. Uh, Mr. Ranjan, I, I hope uh, you got the answers. Thank, thanks for the question. Um, now, Ira, the last question before we close. Uh, <clears throat> you would have seen my profile, you've seen me. So, based on that, uh, one of the 10 rating, you know, how much would you rate me for self love? Aha! Uh -huh. You are like uh, you are making me a judge over here. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll tell you how would I rate you. Hmm. Hmm. It's you very scrolled uh, to my profile for a bit and all that. So it was based on you know whatever you you have seen. I will just say that uh, you need to connect with yourself and uh, okay, you just keep one hand on your heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, just close your eyes and take a deep breath. I, you will hypnotize me again. And I, <laughs> I won't hypnotize you. Just don't worry. 
almost two to three hours there. I'll be snoring in my meditation. <laughs> I am not doing that. Okay, only for one minute. Only yeah, for one minute. <laughs> only for one minute. Okay. <laughs> Just connect to your heart and okay. take a deep breath mm-hmm. and exhale. And mm-hmm. connect to yourself and say, Ravi. I really love you and uh, it's been a great journey. So in this journey, how will I rate myself that I, how much I've come across and how much I've like discovered myself? Okay. And so there, there is an answer which will come from within. Yeah, how much have you discovered from Why this often I go off? <laughs> I'll surely do here. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Ira, for that. Because I will definitely do that. But apne aapko khud, matlab, uh, yeah, my question is, I was thinking about it when I was doing it. I was doing it What about the other fans? I mean, you have time to get your friends. So... <laughs> don't be tricky on that. If you do it for one minute, you don't have time for others. Don't tell me that. It's like the <laughs> more connected... Do that. The more connected you are with yourself, the more connected you will be with the other person. Uh, Ravi, sure. tell me how much time or how much minutes does it take for us to get connected? Yeah, as you said, one minute itself is very long, and I was worried to even go um, do this for one minute on life uh, because yeah, it, it is. If you really count one minute, is a very long period. So, so yeah, I agree with you. It just takes a minute or two to. Just connect to yourself and ask some questions or you know start loving. Yeah. And you will be the most lovable person. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't want to ask me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aira. Thanks for taking time. Yeah, 30 minutes, see, it was, you know, it sounds very quick. Uh, I, I couldn't realize the time. And uh, awesome answers with rapid fire questions. All the best what you do. I'm sure you, you, you get a lot of chance to heal uh, many people uh, the best way possible. And uh, I I wish God that you should definitely have an ashram for yourself uh, in coming days, which I can visit. So thanks for taking time out on Sunday afternoon. Thanks a lot, Aria. I Thank know. you so much, Ravi, for this lovely invitation. And I loved interacting with you. It was so much fun. And I think uh, you should go and watch all the videos on his channel because uh, it's uh, really fun to know more people. <laughs> so thank, thank you so you. much, Ravi, for it. Most welcome. Thank you, Aira. Thank you, friends. Uh, so we have a new friend today. So I'll have uh, some links uh, for following uh, Aira and uh, link for her book. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Self-love.